It was in 1789, on the initiative of Joseph II, Emperor of Austria and King of Hungary, that the Arab Shagya was born. The goal was to create an enduring war horse, but more carrying than the Arabian horse. Indeed, the Hussar, who is a military horseman belonging to the light cavalry, needed a mount capable of carrying his equipment and of towing the cannons. Under the influence of cavalry captain Joseph Sisakonix, then in charge of the Haris de Mazoheges, Joseph II acquired the domain of Babolna. Located about 60 kilometers from Budapest, he decided to establish an imperial military stud there. Joseph C. Sekonix establishes the principle of selection, at the beginning of the 19th century, where Arab stallions were the only ones to be admitted for breeding. Born in 1830 in Syria, Shagia, a grey Arabian stallion with a perfect model, became the leader of the breed, because it was he who was used in the first crosses with local mares as well as Orientals. The most famous of these mares, the lineage heads of the breed, are Moldvai, a native mare born in 1781, and Teifel, an Arabian mare from the Orient, born in 1810. The Shagya Arab has been threatened with extinction on several occasions, however it was in the 1970s that it almost disappeared definitively, when the only possible outlet for it was the slaughterhouse. It is once again enthusiasts, mostly former German and Danish Hussars, who will intervene to save the last Shagya Arabs. These survivors are now the ancestors of some 6,000 horses of the breed spread across the world. The Arabic Shagya genealogical books are without doubt the oldest and most complete that can be found. They have exceptional traceability, which can cover around 20 generations. The Arab Shagya is nowadays well known and highly appreciated for its qualities, however the breed remains discreet. In recent years, the global workforce has tended to increase, and the Arab Shagya is present in more and more countries, whether on the European, Asian or American continent.